Hello Beach Bums and welcome back to the channel. I am on the beach this morning about to set up some set rigs. Today is officially, I'm getting bit by a mosquito. Today is officially my last guided trip that I have on the book. So I've got Chris, he's, he's taking pictures of Fred, but he's been with me, you've been with me two times, three? Three or four. Three or four, yeah, he's several times. Yeah. But he's the last one that I've got on the book, so this is it. And I've had a lot of people ask me about why I quit guiding. I'll talk about that a little bit later, but we're gonna get some baits out. Water's a little bit dirty. We did just have a tropical system that kind of sideswiped us and formed like right below us. So it's kind of dirtied up our water a little bit. It's a little bit choppy. We'll see what we can get into, but it should be fun. All right, we're getting some whiting rigs set up up close to start. We've got a nice first trough here. I'm kind of hoping for some whiting, maybe some redfish. It's getting to be that time of year that red's kind of starting to move in our surf zone. It's got little pieces of fresh dead shrimp out there. And I got a one out, so I'm kind of hoping it holds. I may have to put a little bit heavier weight. First fish of the day. Looks like a little squeaker whiting. <laughs> All right, well, we got the skunk out of the way, so that, that that's always important. And he's a good little cut bait size, so we'll hang on to him in case we want to cut him up. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and reel, reel. Reel into it, see if he's there. Yeah, Got him? Yeah, a baby pump it is a little baby pump it up. Look at that guy. Little baby pump. Yeah, something's trying to eat that one. We're in the nursery this morning. <laughs> a small pump and a small whiting. Little baby. See you, buddy. Get your back. We got a little whiting on. He, he looks... uh feisty there we go better than a kitty he's bigger there we go we're getting we're getting better he's not real big we'll throw him in the cooler you know we can use him for bait if we need to but if we get some more that'll start to add up he's probably about 10 or 11 yeah all right it's encouraging in our in our dirty water see some whiting Oh, oh, there he is. Swam in a little bit. There we go. All right. We're not setting the world on fire, but we're catching a few whiting. Yeah, he's not bad. Doubled up on cats. Woo! Thank you, Tropical Storm. I'm going to put out a little piece of our cut whiting we we caught a little fella get that out there see if there's anything swimming around that wants that up close it was on the cut bait what the heck oh just let him run for a second that was immediate holy cow dang that happened fast here we can probably tighten that down just a little bit yeah i kind of had a feeling that might happen this weather or water like that right yeah i don't know what we got here is it jumping? Yeah. Uh, might be a bluefish. Dang. Like we, I literally just threw it out there and it got smoked, man. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's a bluefish. Nothing wrong with that. You uh, have you ever eaten bluefish before? I have not. You want to try it? Sure. Uh, that's a big one too, dude. Holy smokes. <laughs> I am not, this is legit the biggest bluefish I've ever seen out here. Like, I've only seen him like half that. Holy cow, that is a huge bluefish. Dang. I've seen him maybe three quarters that size. Yeah, I've never seen on this coast. I've never, I wish, I don't have anything to weigh with. We'll measure them, of course, but what we need to weigh. That's a big bluefish. That's a big one, huh? Yeah, we don't get real big ones here. Would you eat it? Uh, yeah, they're okay to eat. They're they're not like number one, but they're pretty good. He's he's got to be pushing four, maybe five. Shoot, man, this is uh for our area literally the biggest bluefish I have ever laid hands on. 
giant bluefish on the cut bait. We just put it out there. All right, Chris isn't so sure about trying the bluefish, so we're, we're gonna get them back, but that is a stud bluefish, especially for our area, just incredible. Yeah, I know, he'll get my toes. <laughs> He should, he, should, he should be fine. Yeah. He should be fine. He's good. He wasn't out that long. Sweet, man. Yeah, that's good, that, man. That's a nice fish. Didn't look like a catfish hit, but it is. Oh, oh, oh. Something bigger on that one. Oh, gosh. About took the rod out of the holder. Oh, another big blue, it looks like. Did it come off? Yeah. Dang. I saw it hit the top of the water. Yeah. Dad gum. Another big blue. Good gracious. We made a move a little ways down the beach. We found a nice cut and pocket up close to the beach. I'm kind of hoping some fish are hanging in it. A little bit deeper water. So we've got some, a little bit of feature. Might be some whiting hanging around in here. Might get lucky and find us a red or a black drum. Oh, okay. It's fighting better than a cat. There we go, we got another one. Okay, all right. They are like right up close to the beach. Yeah. Anywhere else we throw, it's an immediate catfish. There we go, all right. We're making progress. Oh. Okay, okay, oh, that's good, good. Oh, that's a red, that's a red. Dude, we've been wanting them all day. You got light leader. Yep, just just let him let him do his thing. Come on now. Heck yeah. Yeah, we're under. We're good. Yeah, he's gonna give you a fight. We've been talking all morning how these are the conditions that you normally find these redfish and black drum up close to the beach. You know, this dirty water, a little rougher. It's the time of year. This is the time of year we start to see more redfish in the surf. So we've been hoping, that's a beautiful redfish, man. We got them on our whiting setup. I've got 10 pound mono on there for our leader. It's a good little slot right here. Just on a little piece of shrimp. Just as those waves come in, as it get, kind of gets tired, if you can try to back up with them and ease them up. There you go, perfect. Nice, dude. Man, patience paid off. What a beautiful fish. Good gracious. This is like a perfect redfish wow nice man we have been super patient we have weeded through how many catfish today probably 20 15 if, yeah i mean it a feels lot. like a thousand yeah but a lot of little dinker catfish we got a few whiting in the cooler but we wanted something decent we finally got a nice redfish beautiful color on that thing gosh just a gorgeous fish, man. Oh, oh, <laughs> he's still fired up. Well, he's going in the cooler, so we're good. Something just whacked the cut bait. Holy cow. Might be another big blue. It was thrashing on top. We had like a catfish nibbling at it and then it just laid over, man. You got the rally cap on. We found, we found a fireman hat and uh that that's what worked up to bite a scotch. <laughs> i mean I, I say it's a blue fish it, it, he thrashed yeah yeah looks like it oh oh we lost the rally cap it's all right there we go Another solid, solid bluefish. Man, look at that. The quality of these bluefish 
It's just insane. <laughs> I've never seen this, man. It, we're almost East Coasters. They'll still make fun of our bluefish though. Every, every video that I catch bluefish and I'm like, oh, that's a big bluefish. I get several comments from people on the East Coast that are like, you don't even know. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's a they great do. fish. Yeah. They fight hard too, acrobatic. Yeah. I think the other one was a little bit bigger. All right, buddy. Thanks for taking our cut bait. See ya. There he goes. Today marks the official end of an era I'm no longer guiding at all. That was, uh, which I haven't been, but I had this last trip on the books. I had a few throughout the year, just kind of sporadic, and this was the absolute last one that I had scheduled uh, from last year. Chris had been going with me every year, and he'd actually been, I think, a couple times in with me last year or the year before. He, he's been several times, and I told him, I said, man, yeah, we'll, we'll still run that trip when you're in town, and that was the last one that I had on my calendar, so... I'm, I'm no longer guiding, and I just wanted to take this opportunity, since this was my official last guided surf trip, uh, to explain some things. Because I, I get asked very often in my videos, or I have people comment, they're like, man, I, I liked your videos when you were guiding, I love your guide videos, I can't believe you quit guiding, why would you quit guiding? You know, worded however you want, but essentially saying... I don't, I don't understand why you're not guiding. So I figured I would explain and just kind of go over the reasoning as to why I made this decision to transition out of it. First of all, when I first started this channel, guiding was not part of the plan. It just happened. And I've explained that before in that I just had several people asking me to take them fishing. And it just became an opportunity, a great opportunity. I did it full time for three years and or three seasons. And it was great. I mean, it was a great way to earn an income. It allowed me to fish full time. It allowed me to get some content and, and it allowed me to learn. I learned so much about fishing and it really accelerated my growth. So it was a great thing, but it just was never part of the plan. The, the plan was always to create content, to build a brand and to grow it. But for where the channel is and where I am as a business now, it financially just doesn't make sense to continue guiding it. It's more lucrative as a business for me to make a video that I can put on the internet. Now, I understand. I've made several guide fishing videos and everybody's like, I love your guided, or not everybody, but I have several people that are like, I love your guided fishing trips that you film and post. You could just do that. And, and yes, and, and I have, and I, and I did. So I could run the trip and also film and, and post that video. But the the trick here is it really limits opportunities because the guided trips that I run is basically fishing the same way, targeting a lot of the same species of fish. It really causes me to miss a lot of opportunities. There were several times when I was still guiding full time and even when I backed it down last season, I backed it down to half. Like I, I only was booking 15 trips a month. This was last year. And you know, before that I would just run like 25 to 30. But even when I backed it down, there were still several times when I was out on a guide trip and there was better opportunities for, for different fish. Like the conditions that day would have been better for me to do something else, but I was running that guide trip. So I was missing that opportunity. And you have short windows in fishing as far as like time frames and also weather you know events that go on. You have to work around all that stuff to make it happen where you capitalize on those opportunities. And I was missing so many. Like, for instance, this year, I haven't been guiding basically at all, and I've been able to do more stuff. I've been able to target different species. I've accomplished a lot of goals, and it's allowed my channel to flourish as, on YouTube as a whole because I've been able to focus on other things that have expanded my horizons. So it was just a very limiting thing. It limited me from producing the kind of content that I wanted. It limited me from creating the type of videos instead of just kind of posting the same thing over and over, which some of you may really enjoy that. But uh, as YouTube as a whole, it's not great to just constantly be posting the same thing. Same kind of idea. You know, we're saltwater fishing, land-based fishing, but just got to target things a different way, target different fish. And it held me back from that. That's really it. It just, it's a business decision. It didn't make sense for where I am now to continue guiding. It was holding 
my channel back, it was holding my business back by trying to still run those trips. Um, you know, and, and, and I'm sure I'll still get comments of ideas of how I can still keep doing it. Tr trust me, it, it's way, it, for what I'm doing now, it's, it's just better for me to focus on creating content and, and putting those videos out there. Um, adding the, the element of guiding, even at, in a small capacity or charging more or any of that, just it, it gets way more difficult. There's a lot of moving parts to scheduling keeping trips uh, it, it's just it doesn't make sense it just does not make sense <laughs> with the opportunity that I have to try and interject guiding in what I'm doing so uh, I, I know I've had several people reach out and they're, they're very disappointed and, and I'm sorry I mean you guys have been so helpful and, and supportive but that was never the goal and and I'm glad I got to meet several of you in the uh, era of my guiding and, I, and thank you so much for booking trips it really helped grow this business and, and get it to where it is today but this was always the goal like where we're at today this is that was the goal and where we're headed and uh very thankful for that thank you for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it um we'll of course continue to surf fish like that's not going anywhere we will still surf fish and you'll still see trip you know outings like this just not necessarily with people that are hiring me to take them fishing and so you'll still see those opportunities. But uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you're still here by some miracle watching this video. If you haven't hit the notification bell, very important. Let you know when I upload. It's uh, pretty important on YouTube. So I'd appreciate it if you, if you click that just so you don't miss any videos that I do post. And as always, you stay bummy.